I first saw the ice face of Kilimanjaro, I wanted to climb this icicle, which had never been done. You want to climb what everyone agrees is the most dangerous and scariest mountain in the world and then snowboard down. It was time for our real attempt on the north face of Mount Everest, 8,000 plus feet from the bottom of the face to the top of the world. And I wanted to try and snowboard this, and was I scared? Yeah. I think fear is the most important emotion for me that allows me to go into the mountains safely. I have no safety equipment to get down the mountain with. So what I do is I just sit down on the side of the glacier and I'm soaking wet. And I start shivering and then I go, wow, this isn't very good. And I start jumping up and down and I start dancing. And I'm just singing and dancing and trying to stay warm, swinging my arms, get the blood flow in my fingertips. And then uh, I get tired and I sit down. To survive an avalanche is one thing, but to survive an avalanche of 2,000 feet is quite another. And then all of a sudden we hear this, it was literally like a car crash sound as part of this ice calves off the glacier, roars down the face, gets louder and louder. We don't know exactly where it's coming from. And then finally we see this wall of white and <laughs> Sherpas and I are holding on. Jimmy, we look out of the corner of our eye, he gets blown away. Finally, it settles down. We look around, there's ice chunks nearby, big car-sized ice chunks. We were spared that moment. Get uncomfortable. I step outside my comfort zone. As soon as I'm comfortable, I get a little bored and I want a new challenge and that is something that involves taking risk. We all have challenges in life. We all have obstacles. So you take a step ahead and you forge ahead and you make a plan and you attack. And you Believe in yourself, number one. And with that, you can just do about anything.